Hello everyone, how are you doing on this fabulous Sunday? Are you having a nice relaxing day before the week starts off? Are you watching football? What's going on? Um, so I am just chilling at home here with Millie. Um, got a couple candles burning, feeling nice and folly here. Um, isn't that a word? My sister would say it's a word. Anyway, just enjoying the nice day that it is as Millie just goes and pushes all my pillows around. Um, so I actually painted my nails. And actually, hopefully this goes up, will actually upload to YouTube and actually go to the right channel because for some reason, for a while, my videos weren't uploading and then they were, they've been uploading to my main channel. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Um, so hopefully this will work. But yeah, so I actually painted my nails. I can't really remember the last time I actually painted my nails myself. Um, I'm always kind of torn. Like, I like to have something on my nails because I feel like for a long time, like, the school that I used to go to as, like, a student, like, I couldn't have my nails painted or anything like that. And then um, in college, it was when I really started to, like, get into painting my nails and everything. But I also really like to have go and get like the fake nails done um or go and get gel nail polish because like I chip my nails like no other <laughs> and with those two like they last a lot longer but then again I'm like <sighs> I don't know I'm such a homebody sometimes and I'm like do I really want to go and spend a couple hours at the nail salon and getting them done I mean I like the way they look afterwards but I just don't like how long they take and um, they can be a little pricey and it does add up. Um, so definitely doing your nails at home is a lot cheaper option, but I am a terrible person at doing my nails. I had to clean them up a little bit, but yeah, I was like, I hadn't had anything on my nails in like since August, I think was the last time I had something on my nails and it's the end of October and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do my nails because I have so much nail polish like it's ridiculous the amount of nail polish that I own and I hadn't used any of it in a really long time because like I said I've been going and getting my nails done um so yeah this like doing it myself saved me even if I just got regular nail polish like $15 or however much it is they charge you to put nail polish on um so I have on I'll tell you guys I have on one of my favorites, this one right here, it's Essie's uh, Bahama Mama. It's like a nice burgundy color. So it's really nice for fall. I love it. And I'll tell you my little secret. What I like to do is I have this Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat. So um, paint your nails. And oh, and I also always start with a base coat because it helps protect your nails a little bit and helps your nails stick. So this is Sally Hansen Double Duty Strengthening Base and Top Coat, but I only use this as a base coat, so I will put this on my nails and let it dry for like a minute or two. Then I will put on one coat of my color, Let again, let it sit for a minute or two to kind of dry, put on a second coat of the same color, let it dry, and then this, the, the thing says, um, shake well, apply nail color, wait two minutes, and apply one coat, and manicure will be dry to touch in 30 seconds. So this stuff really does work uh, as far as drying quickly because all females, or, and not just females, I'm sorry, anybody who paints their nails knows the problem of you paint your nails and you like spend the rest of your day waiting for them to dry and to do anything. And then just when you think they're dry, you do something and you totally screw your nails up. So yeah, this stuff definitely, I don't know if it works as in quickly as in 30 seconds, but definitely within a minute it's dry. And I actually will put this on, wait a couple of minutes and do a second coat just because, like I said, I, for some reason, can chip my nails like no other. I don't know why. Uh, and this is supposed to be anti-chip, but I still chip my nails with this. But I love this stuff because it does dry so quickly. And I've also heard that if you, after you paint your nails, if you submerge it in cold water for like two or three minutes, it um, will dry your nail polish too. So just some tips for anybody who paints their nails. I'm sorry, I didn't mean just females because there are males out there that want to paint their nails too 
or you know anybody whoever so yes um I'm like just so excited like I love painting my nails and I used to be pretty good at it but like I said it's probably been a couple of years since I actually painted my nails myself maybe like a year sometimes I'll do my at-home gel nails because those will last a little bit longer but they're not as good as the gel nails that you can get at the salon so yeah that's really it I'm just relaxing enjoying my Sunday getting ready for Halloween I'm so excited I've got Millie such a cute little costume and we're just gonna go over to my parents house and hang out and help pass out candy um, the area that my parents live in is going through what they call gingification which is um, like the original homes that are there are being sold and torn down and built into really like new nice homes which is what one of my parents my, my parents have um, they've been living in that house for for four years now they moved in December of 2010 so coming up on four years and they're the first person to live in that house so the, the house is only four years old um so you have a lot of new couples moving in not all of them have kids um and so what they said has happened in the past is that um, people will just drive around, drop, stop at a house, the kids will go out. So like the neighbors will hang out in the driveway and hand out candy to the kids. So we're going to go and hang out and help with that too, um, which is crazy to think because we grew up in the suburbs and we would just walk around our neighborhood and do candy. And it was funny because the mom's view, if you don't watch the mom's view, they were talking about it because they all have kids, obviously they're moms about trick-or-treating and I guess some of them like they haven't let their kids go trick-or-treating a lot in the past and they're asking like when would they let them go on their own and the moms were like never and I feel like kind of in the world we live in now like you don't want your kids going out especially at night and the Halloween when crazy stuff happens by themselves but I mean I think my parents started letting us go trick-or-treating by ourselves like when we were kind of like middle school age like fifth grade and up just because and really what it was we weren't going to go trick-or-treating but a lot of the kids our neighborhood were like our age and a lot of them weren't trick-or-treating anymore but people were still buying candy as if a lot of kids were going so we're like this is an opportunity to get a lot of candy so we were like okay we're going trick-or-treating and like we would go there and people were like oh thank goodness and they would like just put the candy in our bags people I mean full-size candy bars they were giving out sodas everything it was like okay let's get on this um so yeah it was just a fun excuse to get candy and my parents are like really we're trying to get rid of our candy and you're coming with more candy but yeah it's just a fun little thing I have a costume for Millie it's just a cute little like orange fairy princess tutu thing anyway um that's it really I've just missed vlogging a little bit. It's been crazy. But yeah, I hope you are enjoying your day or wherever you are. And um, I'll see you guys sometime in the future. Bye.